So good morning, everyone. I'm Angelina Pavlic, uh, coming from Serbia. I'm very pleased to be ESR4, supervised by Professor Dr. Chris Reitlix-Bega. Today, I will introduce you with targeted treatment of vascular calcification and with the most intriguing spots of this project. This project uh, attracts me from two aspects. First, um, because it is investigating one of the leading causes of death worldwide. And second, because it involves a multidisciplinary approach. And it takes the best of uh, representative biochemical disciplines whose outcome is expected to be translated to clinics and market. The focus of ESR4 is targeted treatment of vascular calcification. And it fits perfectly in the aims of evolution. Because ESR4 is investigating endogenous stimuli that modulates vascular calcification progression. And according to this finding, it will develop novel therapeutical approach to uh, cure this severe disease. Vascular calcification uh, could occur uh, by normal aging, as you heard yesterday, but is it is predominantly observed in uh, chronic kidney disease patients, whereas more than 50% of patients on hemodialysis uh, die of consequences of vascular calcification. However, vascular calcification is also seen in uh, disease such as atherosclerosis, osteoporosis, diabetes mellitus, and etc. On this picture, you can see calcified artery. Previously, uh, vascular calcification is considered to be a passive process. However, now it's well known that vascular calcification is actively regulated via vascular smooth muscle cells and that it shares uh, common features with embryonic bo bone development. It is really interesting. Therefore, let's have a look in uh, arterial wall. On picture A, you can see normal uh, blood vessel. You can see uh, vascular smooth muscle cells that have contractile function and a low normal blood flow. This is fine. But if you have a look to much more interesting cartoon to picture B, you already can see arterial remodeling. And this is when vascul uh, vascular calcification is starting. Vascular smooth muscle cells are becoming hypocrites here. They are converting to synthetic phenotype, or if the stimuli is prolonged, uh, they will convert to osteochondrogenic phenotype at the, the end effect form bone in your vessel. And this is undesired, as any other ectop ectopic calcification. This process is really interesting, but about my scientific curiosity to investigate this, I think it is really important also because of medical aspect. And uh, when I came to Maastricht, uh, one of the, to start my PhD here, one of the first tasks that I got was to investigate this process, to be able to select the proper target to hit, uh, to suppress vascular calcification progression. But dealing the tar with targets, it is not just my passion from the aspect of vascular calcification. Dealing with target is also my hobby. <laughs> Three years ago, I started to practice shooting um, to practice focus and to have full control of my thoughts. And this is actually what we are requiring in the research of ESR4. We want to have full control. We want to harness molecular modulator of vascular calcification by resolving molecular machinery of this disease. But before I show you how molecular machinery look like, I would like you to be aware if you have any background in molecular biology or physiology or even biology, because you will recognize some pathways and you will try to understand them, to link them together, but don't do it. This picture is just simplified illustration of mineralization process. And here you can see whole orchestra of molecules that are interacting with each, with each other. They are all uh, possible targets. You already know, uh, you heard yesterday for uh, vitamin K-dependent protein, MGP, osteocalcin. There are also 
plenty of others, they are really attractive. But it is really hard to distinguish and select from this crowd what is the proper one. Therefore, let's get out of dangerous zone. On this, let's assume that uh, those birds present molecules that can, that can modulate vascular calcification. Every single bird can cause vascular calcification individually or all together as a flock. But how we are going to select the targets then? The idea is uh, to look and to ask ourselves what do we want to achieve by selecting the right duck? Well, by hitting the right duck, we have the, to disable the whole flock to fly. You understand that now. By inhibiting the right molecule, we want to suppress whole molecular machinery of vascular calcification. And this is our goal. As you remember at the beginning, I told you that vascular calcification is actively regulated via vascular smooth muscle cells. But I didn't tell you that vascular calcification is actually occurring in extracellular environment. Therefore, this is the place where we have a look. Uh, I isolated first time in my life extracellular vesicle last week, but scientists are doing that for years. And there are strong indications that vascular calcification is mediated via extracellular vesicle release. Sylvia already explained a lot of them, um, but I will just tell you briefly that they are really attractive in uh, many therapeutical investigations, not just in research of vascular calcification, but also in neurodegenerative diseases and cancer. On, on the, this picture, you can see biogenesis of extracellular vesicle and conversion of vascular smooth muscle cell to synthetic phenotype or osteochondrogenic phenotype. That if you, they reach osteochondrogenic phenotype, we already have a bone. And if you once have vascular calcification, you are susceptible to uh, develop it over again on other places. Therefore, it is already late stage and we don't want to target there. We want to target, uh, we think that triggering moment in uh, vascular calcification progression is extracellular vesicle release. And this is the spot that we want to target. And as we are biochemists, we will choose the molecule and we will target the molecule that modulates extracellular vesicle release. Now our task is getting easier because there are um, strong indications and experimental confirmations that this molecule is SMPD3. SMPD3 shares uh, common modulators as vascular calcification does. Oxidative stress, tumor necrosis factor alpha, and calcium and phosphatidylserine. If activated, SMPD3 hydrolyzes sphingomyelin and generates ceramide. Actually, ceramide is the one active here. It is well known that this second messenger that could cause activation of apoptotic signaling pathways. And you already know if there is apoptosis, there is vascular calcification. But uh, the very interesting thing uh, for me was that ceramide has really special physical chemical properties and it can uh, cause fusing uh, of extracellular vesicles to molecular, uh, multivesicular bodies and therefore fusion, fusion, fusing of multivesicular bodies with plasma membrane and therefore it will cause extracellular vesicle release. Now you understand. SMPD is the target. It will suppress both of those processes. By inhibiting SMPD3, we will inhibit extracellular vesicle release and therefore suppress vascular calcification progression. That's great. Now you understand pathology. We uh, select the target. But how are we are going to hit the target? If you didn't realize until now, this is drug discovery. Uh, that ESR is uh, 4 is all about. If you have a look uh, in 500 years ago, perhaps you will have to go to old Prague and consult a chemist. You will find laboratory like this and uh, equipment as this one. But your result would be uh, not so reliable 
and probably you will end up with Inquisition. Therefore, uh, we will uh, have another approach in evolution. And what does it mean? Well, we will perform high throughput vitreal screening that will allow us to screen more than 100,000 uh, compounds simultaneously. And by selecting the proper one, we can test that in vascular smooth muscle cells. A positive output will be tested in a mouse model of vascular calcification. This part of approach is covered by evolution project. However, we are convinced that you will have positive outcome and that you can translate that to clinical trials. But even if you get negative results, or even positive, both negative and positive in vitro and in vivo, you can always go back to in silico and improve your compound structure and therefore improve activity. I will uh, uh, like to introduce you briefly with the uh, ongoing experiments. So if you want to perform virtual screening, you're requiring the structure. But uh, in SMPD3, there is no uh, crystal structure. So I have to perform homology modeling uh, using Yazara. Uh, another thing that I want to have a look is uh, I want to observe SMPD3 trafficking linked to extracellular vesicle uh, trafficking and overexpression of SMPD3 using SMPD3 GFP construct and we are generating uh, DBT and DAPOE knockout mouse of vascular calcification. So if you want to perform targeted treatment of vascular calcification in style of ESR4, uh, you should know answer on three questions. First, why we are uh, targeting vascular calcification modulators? Because it is worldwide human killer. How we are doing that? We are using state-of-art technology to resolve molecular machinery of vascular calcification mediated by extracellular vesicle release. And what is this extracellular, uh, this state-of-art technology? Well, it is first of all platform that can be applied to any other disease with molecular background. At this point, I would like to, um, to, to say that I have some really high scores during my shooting lessons. And <laughs> as the one chosen for this position, I will give the best to show my strongest focus uh, using multidisciplinary approach as my rifle uh, to suppress, to harness uh, vascular calcification progression. Thank you very much for your attention. I'm also very grateful to Professor Dr. Chris Reutlingsbega, Dr. Gary Nicholas, Dr. Leon Sugars to providing me this interesting and exciting project, and all group members, and of course, Annabelle and Jean Paul. And nothing would be possible, of course, uh, without foundation of European Union. Thank you.